today we're gonna do some, start doing some decoration to this wonderful uh, rabbit here. I'm gonna kind of begin to work on the shaping a bit more. I let you know, pre me videoing, I did fix the neck a little bit. It's a little soft right now. I had to reattach the ears. It's the bane of my existence. I'm trying to wrap this stuff up with the, uh, yeah, the ears come off. I'm gonna add, add some design to it, work on the face, work on some shaping of it. I'm trying to get it pretty much close to being done in this video as I possibly can. So you guys can see what you have to do a little bit of the texture and design stuff. So that's what we're gonna work on today. So let's get started. The first of the rabbit, of course I spray down a little bit of water, I'm gonna attach the eyeballs. I make two little balls of clay, I flatten one side of it, and then I'm gonna score and slip them and put them in the eye sockets I've already built in. Once I'm done doing that, I'm gonna go back around, add some coils around it so the eyeballs aren't popping out. That's kind of the key thing I'm doing there. And double checking to make sure the eyes fit, and then I'm gonna add some coils around it. Um, my clay got a little bit stiff on this one, so I have to add a nose, I can't carve it in. So I'm adding the nose and I'll come back in. Kind of blend it a little bit better down the road. But this is kind of what I have to do with the, with the beginning of this uh, project here, is get all the little parts in the face and all that stuff as well on there is what I'm working on. When I do attach the coils around the eyeball itself, um, I make sure I score and slip them and I blend from the bottom. I don't touch the top because I want them still kind of like they're encasing like an eyeball. So that's kind of doing there. I'm working on that and making it look like the eye socket itself. You can really shape it and change it, add some characteristics to your animal. I'm just going for just kind of a plain look as I'm doing here and you can, you know, it's what you want to do to make your eye stand out a little bit more. Here I'm going to add some texture and a little bit of details of those ears because in reality what's going to dry out first the ears because they're the thinnest part of the clay and the very top of the clay. So I'm trying to get some texture back in there and then really not mess with them too much, maybe a little bit down the road. I'm also going back in, cleaning up my eye sockets, putting everything together, kind of looking at the whole picture, making sure things well attached and everything else. Um, yeah, just kind of just looking over everything. What details do I need to add? Uh, kind of make the mouth stand a little bit more. I'll come back add more to that later. And that's kind of what I'm working on, just look at the general shape of my rabbit. Getting into the feet portion of my feet, I have lumps of clay that I stuck on there at the beginning. Now I'm coming back, cutting out where the toes are going to be, kind of blending and smoothing and shaping, and I'm kind of going back and removing some excess clay because they're kind of bulky. I had to do that at first when I attached them. Now I'm going to come back in, add little wads of clay, and then get to blend them on there to make them stand out. I'm going to go individually to each foot and make this happen. I'm going to use my ribbon tool, carve away clay, use my little uh, uh, rib there as well to kind of blend and smooth the clay on there to attach it. It's just a process I'm going to have to work on. It's going to take some time. And I'm just gonna kind of work on shaping, removing excess clay, looking like the feet are part of what's there. And again, I'm gonna miss a little bit of water, take some wads, get them on there, and yeah, just kind of watch the process of building them. It's trying to make something look flat, look three-dimensional. That's the key. You know, just sticking clay, you know, feet on there. You're actually going back and shaping them and building up and making them look like real feet.
Now as I begin to work on this project, it's just adding lots of texture. Going through, giving the hair for the rabbit, uh, it's just, it's a, it's a very tedious process, figuring it out, what needs to happen, just kind of going over it, working over and over and over, trying to get that texture to come up. Here's a close-up view of the chest area I'm working on uh, using a sponge. I got a wet rag just trying to smooth out some of those lines. Uh, go back over there, just trying to get the, the just, it's a lot of layering that's going on here. What I'm having to do, I'm going to add some clay to give it some more depth. I'm going to go back in, carve that out, try to, or press it in, try to add more and more layers and really, really, really work on that texture and just kind of going over it and going over it and going over it and just trying to figure out how to make that rabbit look like it has hair as best I can. This is a little bit of interpretation, but really it can't be smooth. There's got to be a ton of texture on it. It's one thing you really got to make sure there's there. No matter what animal you're making, you've got to have texture to it. I'm uh, going through with the rag using my finger in it, just kind of dabbing around, smoothing. Helps kind of get a little bit of a texture, smooth the surface. Doesn't make the line so harsh. Try to actually build those layers up to make it look like there's hair on there is what I'm working on. And that's what I'm doing there. I'm adding some uh, clay to the side of the cheeks. It's going to come out a little bit more because I looked at my picture of my rabbit and the cheeks were uh, lacking a little bit. So we had to get the cheeks to stand out a little bit more. So that's what I'm doing there with the piece. Going back in, uh, adding some texture to the rabbit's that face. Close up of the face here. Going back in and adding that texture around it. Uh, really short little strokes with my ribbon tool. My loop tool not going big, long strokes because the fur is kind of choppy. I'm smoothing it over with a sponge. Going back in, adding more texture. Trying to get the same direction the hair would probably go. Looking at my pictures. Again, this is interpretation. Really, really going back and adding that texture. It needs it. It makes it stand out more because a rabbit is not smooth. Here I'm going back on the project. I'm adding uh, some hair to it. Trying to make some, you know, give it more three-dimensional depth, you know, make some stuff stand out a little bit. Uh, adding hair, going back in, smoothing with the rag, going back in, carving some of it away, trying to give some more depth to the rabbit as well, so it's not just on the surface. You can go back, add little coils of clay on there to help enhance your piece, uh, kind of blend it on there, and just kind of give it, you know, I'm trying to make little portions apart stick out a little bit, so I'm adding coils and blending them on there and make it look like everything's a little bit more hairs popping up everywhere, stuff like that, kind of give the illusion of more depth.
And I'm going to attack on the back side of the rabbit. Uh, getting the texture in there again. Small little short strokes with my loop tool. Trying to get everything blended in there. Trying to get that texture into it. I'll also go down and begin to work on the tail of the rabbit. Uh, kind of get that little bit of texture too. Trying just to mimic it and everything else so that everything kind of stands out. Because so when I put the stains on it and the colors, I really want those colors to be absorbed into it. And I have really a place for it to stick. Again, I'm using that rag to smooth out some of the lines and the patterns and going back in and Reese making some stand out a little bit more. Kind of just keep working the project around, really adding that texture to the piece. I'm even going back in with the ribbon tool, trying to clean up the lines, trying to make more definition, trying to give more shape to uh, how the rabbit's supposed to look, removing some of that excess clay, and then, yep, just kind of keep working around, uh, using a different like, loop tool to uh, scoop in different part portions and parts to really kind of make the hair stand out more in the rabbit, adding different textures, different layers, different ribbon tools, different tools, do very many different things to your project. You gotta keep thinking about that. Just don't be stuck with one loop tool and carve the whole thing. You have to come back out of there and work on that. I'm now adding some clay uh, to kind of give some more dimension to the piece as well. I'll have some you know, pieces on there and then some also popping up. Here I'm taking some artistic license. Um, in my pictures, I really can't see it, but I'm making little hair parts pop up off the piece just to give it some more depth, to give it some more interest, some more texture to it, so it gives it some more visual look. I, you gotta think about, you know, how can I make my piece look more interesting? How can I make certain parts stand out? So even though it's not totally in your examples, you might wanna play around with some ideas to make your piece have some more character, personality a little bit. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm adding some little tufts of hair just to give it some more texture, some more depth to the piece as well. So uh, that's one thing you want to think about on your piece. What, how can I make it enhance it, make it my own, make the sculpture stand out even more? Once I get all the hair on there, I'm gonna turn the piece over on the bottom, clean it up a little bit, and then poke with my needle tool a little hole in the bottom so the air can escape. Well, as you can see, I'm pretty much done with what I'm gonna work on anymore. I could probably, maybe I'll add a couple more things onto it before I'm said and done. Uh, I see a couple spots. I might add some stuff, but uh, pretty much wrap this piece up. Um, you know, you gotta look at your pictures, you gotta make some artistic judgments too. I'm giving you guys, like I said, you gotta, you know, all next week, a little bit of a week after, really work on these. Because really, the form is there. Got that built pretty quickly, but it's really the texture, the design, 
you know, everything else. I used a towel to kind of smooth certain parts out. Um, I might come back and do that next day a little bit, but it's not going to be on the video. But pretty much my rabbit is done. There's some things I'm not happy with, but I'm trying to knock something out in uh, four hours. But you guys have like uh, two or three weeks to work on. So this gives you an idea of what mine is right here. Um, really think about the form, the shape, proportions. Look at some reference points. You have to make a couple artistic decisions. The biggest thing I really want you to focus on is getting the proportions best you can. Lots and lots of texture. I cannot stress it enough. Lots of texture onto your piece. That's what really makes the animals stand out. Because when we get to paint these with the velvets, they're gonna have a certain look to them. And those velvets really help bring it out even more if you have lots and lots of texture on there. I try to make some hair strands. I do some stuff a little bit differently than probably I normally would. Just some stuff to think about when building and making a piece. So let's keep on working on it, keep being creative, keep working hard, and let's uh, see what you can do.